to all uh, who are going to watch this video. When I was meditating uh, from the word of God from Matthew chapter 14, uh, where we see about the great miracle which uh, Jesus did uh, by feeding the 5,000 men it is written but if you compare all the max you can understand that there were more than 20,000 plus people so uh, we see how God, uh, Jesus was able to uh, feed them using 5 loaves and 2 fish so as I was reading this passage I closed my eyes and I wanted to go into that place into that uh, that tiny hill into that large congregation I went there in my mind and as I went there I saw a little boy in the corner uh, he was in front which showed that he came very enthusiastically and he had come in the start so I went to him and went near him and that time Jesus was uh, preaching and I went to him and I asked him boy uh, little brother where are your parents he said oh uh, but yeah brother my parents did not come with me but they have given me some food and uh, please don't disturb me I am very intently listening to Jesus who they call rabbi so I was amazed it was like this young boy about uh, 10 years old innocent uh, little guy I was sitting right next to him I uh, wanted to get, keep him safe so I sat, uh, sat with him I understood uh, that he was really interested I, I could see he was very happy to hear uh, the teachings which Jesus was giving after some time uh, I, uh, means uh, I, I think I reached a bit late on my mind uh, and I saw that after his teachings were over that there was some uh, discussion uh, going on on the hill that they were sitting with Jesus and his disciples so I we were waiting and uh, me and the boy were talking uh, just like that since how many days was he here and I was amazed that he was uh, he came here alone and was very very interested uh, to hear to this special rabbi I uh, saw after some time that uh, some of the disciples they were coming uh, going to places and I didn't know why but one guy came uh, one uh, man uh, one disciple of Jesus he came to us and asked um, uh, hey boy uh, what what's that what you have do you have any food so uh, I understood that he was looking for food and uh, I was like is he trying to take this boy's food to feed Jesus is he that important? Doesn't the boy need to eat five loaves and two fish? Clean enough for the boy. So I wanted to protect the boy, but uh, the boy was very, very excited, uh, and he said, "Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir, I have." And I was like, I didn't even have time to say anything, and the boy. Uh, I mean the disciple that man he went back uh, on the hill and uh, after some more time uh, he came back and asked uh, uh, dear boy can I have this uh, basket I was like isn't this so selfish uh, means after the disciples took uh, that uh, man he took it uh, to Jesus I thought that why does why is Jesus taking from little children well, that's not fair uh, but then I saw him uh, lift the basket for example I'll show you this is a fruit basket I have he lifted it up he had this much only I think something like this only it was and he lifted it up and he prayed and uh, I and as he prayed I was wondering what, what, what's he doing what's he doing and then he kept that basket down and then I saw amazement in their eyes in the top and we were um, means little back we couldn't properly uh, properly see what was happening there and then the disciples came all running all those men came running towards us and asked for more baskets I was, I was stunned why what for there was only five loaves and two fish when they went there and they came with 
baskets and baskets of bread and fish. I was, I was stunned. Two things that I understood when I came back to my reality. This was, uh, this was my imagination. But what, when it came to my reality, two things I want the youths to know, including me. Number one, keep Jesus as your priority. Be excited to listen to his word. Hallelujah. Be excited to listen to his word. Be ready to be like that little boy who was there. Means many times if you are alone in France, you might have to leave families. You might have to move friends away just to sit at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. And second, if you might love so many people, but keep your first love to be your Lord. After accepting the Lord because of His love, don't be like the church of Ephesus who forsake, forsook their first love and Jesus reminds them, come back to your first love. So I remind you, I want to remind you, come back to your first love. Sit like Mary did at the feet of Jesus. Be very, very excited to accept His word. And number two, Whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever little you have, surrender to Jesus. Because what he will do will amaze you. You cannot fathom what he will do because he will not only, means he will not only uh, quench your thirst or he will not only fill up your hunger. He will help you to not only fill up yourself, not only to be a blessing for yourself, but also to satisfy all the people around you and give you even more blessings. Give to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Give your blessings to Jesus. Give your hands, your eyes, your ears, your life to Jesus. And when you do that, He will use you as a blessing for others too. Hallelujah. So two things what do you learn today. Repeat after me. Number one, trust in Jesus. Sit at Jesus' feet. Be excited to hear His word. Let Jesus not be your idol. Don't let Him be your idol. What does idol mean? Idol is something temporary, a statue. Idol is what the worldly people say. But He should not be your idol. He should be your Lord. He should be your number one. And second, trust that He will give you much greater blessings than what you have. Don't just say, oh, I have small blessings. I should you be fill myself up with this. No. God will bless you much more than you even can fathom in your mind. Hallelujah. For his understanding is much greater. May God bless you with these words.